this video is part of a uh, full series. Be sure to check out the uh, description of this video or the annotation on the screen for the full playlist, putting out new videos every week. Right now we're going over the basics. Last week I talked about what a shell is and mentioned that there are different shells. And again, you can find out what shells are installed on your system by typing cat etc shells and it will tell you a list of all the shells that are available on your system. And on my system, I am running Z shell by default, but most systems run bash by default. So I'm gonna start bash in the bottom screen here. We'll make the screen a little bit larger, the text a little bit larger here. So I wanna show you, you know, a few of the differences uh, between Z shell and talk about why I switch. Now, first off, you might right off the bat notice that uh, I have some color coding going on my screen up here in Z shell and not in bash. You can have color coding in bash. The fact that I don't use bash, I don't have my system set up with any fancy settings. And um, some of the things I do in Z shell, maybe you can get bash to do uh, with certain settings. I haven't seen them, but it's possible. But um, like I said, most systems, bash is the default shell. Uh, there is a um, Linux distribution called, I think you pronounce it Greml, it's G-R-M-L. And um, they use Z shell as their default setup and I really like their setup and they share their config files so you can get it running on your system if you install Z shell. And I liked it so much that about two or so years ago I switched and I'm loving it so far. Um, so first off, let me switch directories here. Go to my temp directory. Now I can list out all my files here in both bash and Z shell. Um, and I do have color coding enabled on both. Uh, but you'll notice that right here I have a file called beta and you can see it right here as well. So now with Z shell, I can type in LS space B and hit tab and you can see that it gives me some auto completion suggestions. I have beta, this PDF file, looks like some sort of blender uh, temp folder. Uh, down here, I can type in ls, b, and I have to double tab, well, b, hit tab once it doesn't work the first time, hit a second time it goes, and you'll notice that, so the tab is a little different, but that's not a big deal, that it's only listing out two files, uh, the PDF file and the Blender temp file. Why is that? Well, uh, Unix and Unix-like systems, such as uh, Linux, are case sensitive. So when I type B and hit tab, it shouldn't be showing this beta here because it's a capital B, which is different than a lowercase b. But the way I have Z shell set up, and maybe you can do this with bash as well, I don't know, um, it ignores that case and it auto completes for both. So it, it lists all files that start with B rather than just all the ones that start with lowercase, which is kind of nice. Um, Another thing about the auto-completion when it comes between Z shell and bash is, let's say I do do list and I type in B up here, I can hit tab and if I keep hitting tab, it goes through them all just like bash does. But if the list is rather long, I can also do um, LS and just hit tab in this case. And you'll notice that it lists out every file in the directory, but with Z shell, I can use my arrow keys to select the file I want, which is kind of nice. I can also keep hitting tab and we'll go through the files. So I can go through and then when I get to the one I want, I can hit enter and then I can also hit tab again and start scrolling through all the different files and add another file to that list. Where with bash, at least with the default setup, I can type in list and if I hit tab, it lists them all, and I can uh, see them, but it doesn't let me scroll through them. And also, at least not by default, they're not color coded by file type. So that's really nice. That's, that's one of the main reasons, the original reasons I switched was just this nice tab for auto completion, being able to select what file I want uh, like that. That is very nice. Other differences I've noticed, uh, at least with my setup, let me clear the screen here again. So we have that the, the tab completion is just a lot nicer with Z shell with the case insensitive and being able to scroll through the files and select the one you want, where 
you know, they both I can go capital B here and hit tab. And since it's the only file I can, with it starts with a capital B, they both will do that, which is nice. Um, but let's say I have a folder here. Let me uh, show you in the bash first. I have a folder called test. So CD, TE, and I hit tab and it shows a file called test, but again, I'm looking for a folder with a capital T. So I'm gonna go capital T uh, tab, and there's a folder inside that I can hit tab, and then there's a file inside that. So I have two folders in the file. Now with bash, uh, the way the default set up here, if I hit enter now, it's gonna tell me I can't change directory to that, I can't CD to that, because te uh, file is a file, not a directory, where with, and this could be again personal uh, preference, what you like, I can say test, test, file, and when I hit enter, it tells me, you know, that it can't CD to file, but it moves me to the directory file is in, which I th think is kind of nice. Now, if you're used to, to this down here in bash, that can be confusing at first. You're like, oh, I messed up the command, and you might start typing it all out again, like maybe I meant list, and you do that and then you're gonna get an error because you're already in that directory, so I don't have to type in the full directory. So again, that's a difference. That's just how I have it set up. You may or may not like that. Uh, it's just a different preference. Um, so, <clears throat> few differences here and there. I also wanna point out, we'll also down here, we'll go man bash to bring up the, the man file for bash. And up here I'll type in man uh, z shell for z shell. And um, if we go all the way to the bottom of the file here, you'll see that the bash man file is 4,000 lines long. Uh, if we go all to the bottom of the Z shell man file, you'll see that it's only 286 files lo uh, lines long. Why is this Z shell so much shorter? Well, let's go back to the top of the file and actually start reading. Because Z shell contains many features, the Z shell manual has been split into a number of sections, which is pretty nice. So you can go section by section, but the last one here is Z shell all. So if I man Z shell all, or ZSH all, I can now go to the end of this file and you can see that Z shell has 20, over 23,000 lines <laughs> of manual. So that's something to think about. So anyway, I just wanted to point out a few of the differences. There are some others. Um, I'm trying to think of what they are off the top of my head that I use normally, but that's mainly it. The auto completion is just great. Um, and really, I think that's the reason most people switch to Z shell is just how great the auto completion is. If you use Z shell and you know some features uh, that uh, I didn't mention, go ahead and mention that below. If uh, some of the things I showed you, you can do in Z shell, you know how to do in Bash, go ahead and mention that below in the comments. I thank you for watching. As always, please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. As always, I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.